Bonjour and welcome to this presentation. My name is Dominique Latru and I'm the subject leader for French at Barton Pevrol. So um, as you can hear, I'm also a French native. So I'm going to explain a few things about uh, this course. Um, over the two years of study, you will deepen your knowledge of the language through 12 topics, um, one film and one book. In the first year, you will explore six topics and another six in the second year. So we study in order uh, family, then the use of technology, volunteering, cinema, French music and heritage, finally. Um, in the first year, you also study a film, um, and I have chosen um, L'Auberge Espagnole, which is the story of a young French student who decides to go to Barcelona for one year in order to study um, Spanish that he needs for a job. Then in the second year, um, we uh, explore kind of more interesting topics, uh, which are uh, multiculturalism, um, social exclusion, how France deals with criminals, young people's and, um, involvement in politics, um, strikes and demonstrations, and finally, the topic of immigration. So as you can see, the uh, topics are more interesting in the uh, second year um, and obviously a bit deeper. Um, but initially, we start from what you know, and then we build from that. In the summer of the first year, we also start reading a book uh, and I have chosen a very thin book called uh, Kif Kif Demain by Faiz Again, who wrote her first book when she was 19. The story is about um, young uh, Fai, um, sorry, Doria, um, who lives in the suburbs of Paris with her mother. Um, so, the two years of uh, study will give you an A-level in French, uh, which is highly regarded by universities, as it is considered as a facilitating subject alongside maths and the sciences. To do this course, you will need to have achieved minimum grade 6, um, at GCSE in French, and a minimum average GCSE score of five. So who chooses um, to study French at A-level? Well, because languages combine well with any subjects, uh, my students from, uh, come from diverse horizons. Uh, quite a few study maths uh, alongside um, sciences, um, whilst other students um, go for history, English, law, arts, uh, psychology, sociology, drama. So as you can see, quite diverse. I also need to explain a bit about um, the um, exams. So you've got three exams uh, at the end of a course. Paper one is um, uh, a combination of listening, reading, uh, and writing. Writing mainly in the form of translations, both into English and into French. And this paper counts for 50% of your A-level. For paper two, you need to write one essay uh, on the film and one essay on the book. And that paper counts for 20%. Finally, paper three is um, uh, the speaking exam and it includes two parts. The first one is um, a stimulus card and you've got to answer uh, questions on it. And the second part is an individual research project uh, on a topic of your choice. 
So that paper is worth 30% of your A-level. So I guess that um, if you are watching this video, uh, you don't need much convincing about um, choosing uh, French as a course amongst your other subjects. Uh, first, you will choose French because you have enjoyed it at secondary. Um, that's the most important, the enjoyment. Uh, it will give you the opportunity to immerse yourself into uh, another culture. Besides, you might um, um, be able to combine it with uh, another subject at university and then spend the third year of your university um, in France or in any French-speaking country. As I mentioned previously, uh, French is a facilitating subject for um, university applications. Um, universities and employers um, like bilingual and multilingual uh, speakers uh, because they display skills that um, maybe others don't have, like uh, multitasking, um, like um, problem solving, and obviously they are very sociable. Uh, a knowledge of French will also open the doors of French companies uh, in France and other French-speaking countries, uh, so it expands careers possibilities. Um, May I remind you that uh, French is uh, a working language uh, and an official language of the United Nations, uh, the European Union, UNESCO, NATO, the International Olympic Committee, the International Red Cross and International um, Corps. So, I'm done with uh, this presentation. Um, for more information, you can click, uh, click sorry, on this link. Um, I hope that this presentation was useful and has ans answered some of your questions. Thank you for listening and à bientôt.